All right, prevailing rate of wage resolution. I think this is the day one. Yes. So. This is uh, an annual resolution. Um, Mr. Walsh and I talked about this earlier. Uh, it's just really the prevailing wage rate. Take union out of there in the second line. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, for uh, certain construction projects and other work, we are uh, abiding by the Department labor requirement to see that the <coughs> prevailing wage rates are uh, abided by. Any questions? This was big uh, last year when we had the facility, right? Yeah. When we were doing construction. No, but the, the... What are you saying? There was a missed a year in that resolution, too. Where? On uh, the re actual resolution on page 9, so page section? 2, section 1, the third line from the bottom. It says department's June. It should say June 2011, matching the schedule that's attached to it. It says June 2011. Up above it does, June of 2011. Um, I don't know that you have to repeat it. Okay. Uh, it's covered more. Okay. Okay. So do I have a motion? Resolved that the Board of Education Township High School, District 208, Cook County, Illinois, hereby approves the resolution regarding prevailing rate of wages as presented in the June 14, 2011 Board Agenda Packet. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Tim Walsh. Any discussion? Seeing none, Marianne, you want to go for the vote? Dr. Yes. Mr. Moon? Aye. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Welch? Yes. Mr. Gritchen? Yes. Ms. Resco? Aye. Mr. Cindy? Yes. All right, next is bids appraisal services. In, in our last audit, the, in a management letter, the auditor recommended that we have a fixed asset appraisal and inventory. We haven't done it since uh, June of 2003. And um, so it's been a long time, plus we've completely renovated our building. And um, so it, it's good practice to have this done periodically. And so we, we did an RFP, took this out to bid, and we are recommending American Appraisal um, as the low bidder to uh, perform this service for the district. And this is pretty key because if there's any, like say we had a fire where the thing burned down or we had a tornado come through, or this helps us for our insurance claim, right? Insurance purposes and accounting purposes. So it's a two, two prong. Uh, we also use this for our amortization schedule, right? For, okay. for fixed assets, yes. All right. Any uh, questions for Chris? Had a good reference by Naperville. I, I have uh, three questions, Chris, and I talked about some. Of them. One is it's unclear in here whether we're asking to value the land or not. Some places it says we are, and some places it says we aren't. So I mean, if they're going to do it for the the price, seems pretty cheap. It just is unclear. The second one is there's obviously a lot of effort that has to go in from somebody on our staff to give list of it and check with them who's going to do this since you're gone I can't imagine the new person would have be able to do it do we have somebody who can do it um, it's gonna be a team of people inside uh, wouldn't you know, Aramark be a big part of that too Dennis will be a key person um, Eileen Pusateri in the business office is going to be key Mike Connors the director of technology is going to be key as far as the uh, the technology assets um, so and plus the other thing too is one of the things that we required on a facility when we were finishing up construction was the development of a computer program which itemized the key equipment and usage in here that identified by serial number by everything to help us give us a maintenance work program which I think will also help with that am I right Chris the, mm -hmm. the last question I have is, and I talked about this in the list of purchases for this month, there were several laptops, and some of them were over $1,000, which means they'd be in this inventory. They would. So how do we keep track of what we purchased so we know to give give the list to uh, this My auditor? My does that. Okay. So somehow, even right. though we don't tag them now, we somehow yeah, do uh, that? Yeah, a complete list with... Uh, 
serial numbers and data okay. purchase and, uh, and who they're assigned to or whatever yes okay thank you okay anything else all right Marianne we didn't. We we resolve that the Board of Education, Township <laughs> High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, hereby approves the proposal from American Appraisal to conduct a fixed asset inventory and appraisal for the cost of 6300 as presented in the June 14, 2011 Board Agenda Packet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Dan Moon. Any other moment. discussion? I All just right. have one question. We discussed this in detail last meeting, but... Um, Tim brought up about the land. Does the land count as a fixed asset? Are we? It does. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything else? All right, Marianne. Mr. Moon. Hi. Mr. Walsh. Yes. Mr. Welch. Yes. Mr. Gritchen. Yes. Mr. Reska. Yes. Dr. King. Yes. Mr. Sandy. Yes. Okay. Our next uh, new business is summer curriculum projects. And I think as Pam's not here, Dave, you're going to take a bit. Yes, and this uh, has been, um, you know, greatly cut back, as you've seen from uh, the report that uh, Pam and Tim did. Um, for these projects, um, a year ago, uh, we expended uh, some $27,910 and uh, you received a budget last month of 17,630. Uh, the recommended amount here has been even cut back further to 16,200. And uh, these are uh, the highest priority items for uh, the staff to work on this summer. Any questions for Dave? All right, can I have a motion, please? Resolved that the Board of Education Township High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, hereby approves the summer curriculum projects for 2011 as presented in the June 14, 2011 Board Agenda Packet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Tim Walsh. Any discussion? I, I just have a question for Dr. Barnett. Uh, is there an evaluation? I noticed many of our instructors are taking kind of a course because they're teaching something new. Is there some kind of follow-up that administration does to make sure that not only that the participant in the course did what we had hoped in the course, but that the course right. also offered what we had hoped the course would offer? Kind of yes. two-tier evaluation. So that, that will happen directly uh, with Tim and Pam. Okay. Uh, and in reality, the staff puts in more time than they're, than they're getting paid for here, mm -hmm. but this is a, kind of a token reimbursement for their work this summer. Okay. Did we? So, yes, there will be. The, these individuals report back to the principal. Oh, okay. And so then, you know, Pam will say, you know, we think those courses were worth money we paid for them. Yes. I mean, she can report back to you if you prefer. Would the board want to know, as kind of a general, these are courses that we sponsored and we think the courses were useful, then we were to go back again. For example, one of the things they're working on uh, this summer is the Summer Bridge Program. Mm -hmm. It's a new initiative mm -hmm. uh, to, we have about, I think, 29 uh, freshmen-to-be Mm -hmm. who are coming in and, and so the staff is working with them on that uh, transition. How about we have Pam give us a report at the end of the summer how some <coughs> curriculum work, development work, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, she can let us right. know if she yeah. thought it worked well, if she thought maybe she needed more or was enough or just and we'll some do kind that. of summary. And we'll put okay. that up in uh, probably our September meeting as okay. a, or our administrative report. Um, so do I have a motion? Resolved that the Board of Education Township High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, hereby approves the summer curriculum <coughs> projects for 2011. Did you already make it? Okay. Do we make it? Yeah. I second it, I think. Mr. Welch. Yes. Mr. Welch. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Mr. 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 Yes.
Yes. Okay. Uh, textbooks adoption 2011 2012 for chemistry. Uh, the other instructional item here uh, this would be uh, a new text, and um, they're saving a little bit by doing classroom sets uh, 9,896 and 40 cents. Any other questions? Do you have questions for Dr. Burnett? I know that, John, you looked at it, and Laura, you looked at the book? Yeah, the book, I just said, should we make the motion and then we can? Sure. We should make the motion so then discuss. You want to make the motion, Laura? Go ahead. Okay. Discuss. Uh, I resolve that the Board of Education, Township High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, hereby approve the textbook Chemistry, Pearson Publisher, C, uh, 2012 and approves the purchase of 120 units at a cost of $82.47 per book, total cost of $9,896.40 as presented in the June 14, 2011 board agenda packet. Do we have a second? Second. Second, second by John King. He likes okay. the chemistry book. I know. Well, he's a part of the committee. So um, the question I have, if they're classroom books and they have homework, how? How do you, are you going to resolve that, or do they have an online version? I know um, some schools have the classroom version, but then when you go home, you can log in to the book online for your homework. Now, I, I don't well, know if, if there is an that. online version, you pay for that, too. Okay. I think that's why they have four sets here, so that okay. uh, if there is a need to take it home, that uh, they'll have enough to still cover the classroom. Okay. But also enable kids to take it with them. Okay. I, I do think there's an online version for this. Be cool Is it if included you bought a in the cost or? The okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Any other questions? Yeah, I have two questions. Okay, Hello, Dr. Burnett. The first one is, but just a high level one, why are we approving a $10,000 book purchase? There's all kinds of items that come up every month in here that are a lot more than this that we don't approve. Is there a reason? We're approving this. Uh, because uh, the, the board uh, does have a responsibility to approve the instructional material. Okay. The second question I had, I asked, and you might have just answered it, but there's six sec sections of chemistry and five sections of honors chemistry, and I asked how many of them run concurrently. Do we actually have four run, do we have four chemistry teachers that run concurrently that we're buying four sets? I, I there are two people that teach chemistry, maybe That's what three. I thought. Um, so, and I don't have the hard copy of the schedule for next year as yet. Uh, so I don't know. That, how that's many what I thought there were two chemistry teachers. Run, I was just wondering why we're buying. We have the two four chem rooms sets. because they have the adjoining. Right. Uh, There's two chemistry facility. labs and two chemistry right. teachers who were buying four sets of books. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Well, I think some of the, the take home, oh, that's on. why Dave I asked. Mont excuse me, Dave Monte is here. I can clarify. Okay. Thank you, Dave. That'd be okay. helpful. There, there step three, up. There are three Dave, step up. Okay. Um, they're not all teaching five sections of chem each, but that book is, I believe, the honors level book. Okay. So that would only cover the sections for honors biology. They're still yeah, using, I think, well. or maybe I got it backwards. No, I it's it, supposed it, to be for it, both. Uh, it's cover both. In the report, he, he can use it both for the regular oh, and advanced okay. levels. So okay, that's, uh, it has the okay. dual. So then purpose. I guess they're going to just, yeah, okay. Right. Uh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Dan. Any other discussion, questions? Thank you. All right, Marianne. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Moon? Yep. Mr. Walsh? Yes. <coughs> yes. All right, before we move into our closed session, Dave will explain what we're going in a closed section, session for, and then uh, you'll have a chance for visitors' comments after that. So, Dave. Okay, we have uh, basically just uh, two items. Uh, there is a third here. Um, as you may have surmised from the visitor comments, uh, we have student residency issues. Uh, there actually are uh, three that we're dealing with this evening. Uh, also this evening, I'm going to uh, 
present a draft of a letter uh, which I will uh, sign and which we are sending to um, a number of, uh, I'll give you a number. Seven uh, cases where we have dealt with residency during the year and where people have not responded to uh, initial requests for payment for tuition that we charge them for being here illegally. And so we are going to take this to the next level. And if they do not respond, either with payment uh, or personally appearing and working out a reimbursement plan, that uh, we will consider taking them to court and uh, fully obtaining uh, the uh, funds uh, that are due to us. Uh, these instances for the year tuition is over $17,000. Each. And each per person. And uh, we're uh, not pleased with the amount of money that it takes to investigate these cases and to fully document that people are here illegally and uh, we're going to pursue it to the fullest extent that is available to us. Okay. Oh, that's the first time. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go out with a little flurry here. Okay. <laughs> got it. Good. I'm sitting uh, next time. i got to watch out. We have several uh, personnel items, um, some certified and paraprofessional staff who are resigning. Uh, retirement for an athletic trainer. Uh, we have a recommended appointment for a business office clerk. This on a part-time basis will replace a person full-time who retired. Uh, we have no certified recommendations. Uh, still some further interviewing going on. Uh, consideration of administrative contracts, uh, basically uh, salary amounts for next year and uh, Mr. or Dr. Skinkus will have a recommendation on a chief financial officer uh, also to uh, replace Mr. Welton. Uh, we have several RBEA items that are basically memos of understanding to uh, clarify some existing contract language. Uh, the litigation matter, there will be no action uh, taken. Uh, we did have a meeting with the school district's attorney prior to this meeting and are continuing uh, with that discussion. Is all? Oh, excuse me. Uh, all right, we're back to visitors' comments. Anybody over on this side want to speak? All right, seeing none, how about anybody on this side that would like to speak? All right, seeing none, can I have a motion for. Before you read the motion, could you include looking at closed meeting minutes because I just want to prepare them for what their duties will be in the next month? Yes. Uh, actually, as I prepared the agenda... I know we took it off, but... We took it off just by virtue of the volume of things that we had to deal with tonight. But uh, twice a year, uh, the board looks at closed session uh, minutes going back 20 years to 1991, I believe. That's about 20 years. And um, decides in reviewing those closed session minutes if there are any that they want to open for public scrutiny. Uh, so that's done twice a year. You will be receiving a fairly thick packet of all of those closed session minutes. And um, if you have insomnia, this will cure it. <laughs> so we can talk about it on that time, because we're not going to talk about it. We should go on a couple sentences too. All right. Okay. So at closed minute meeting, meeting. Shall we? All right. So I have a motion. Yes. 
I, I resolve that the Board of Education Township High School District 208, Cook County, Illinois, enters closed session for the purpose of considering appointments, employment, or dismissal of employees, collective negotiating matters, examination of closed meeting minutes, matters pertaining to individual students, and we have completed litigation discussions. Okay. All right, do I have a second? Second. Second by Tim Walsh. Marianne? Mr. Gritchen? Yes. Mr. Esco? Aye. Dr. Yes. Mr. Moon? Mr. Moon? Uh, uh, yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Uh, again, I apologize for us being started late start, but uh, appreciate y'all coming tonight. We will post when the committee meeting of the whole, it'll be on the website, am I right? It'll be on the website to let us, let you know where we're going to be. And uh, as we did before, uh, we'll follow the same format. So thank you. It is right now uh, 947. We'll be starting back at 10 o'clock.